and I'm back with another video, guys. Today and today is January first. Happy New Year's to every single one of you guys. Thank you all so much for all the support all 2021 long. I know my upload schedule has been ass, and a lot of my videos have been ass as well. But I appreciate you guys for sticking through. We got some Halo Infinite gameplay. As you can see, I have no life the fuck out of this fucking game. I am already max in the battle pass, and there's still like 150 days left. So that's fucking crazy. But we're here to play some more Halo Infinite. I got some free for alls for you guys. Uh, as you can see, pretty much done with all of the winter contingency. As you guys don't know, that is a special event that's happening right now. So make sure to go and play the fuck out of the game. So you can go ahead and get it. But yes, we're playing some Halo Infinite. I know it's been a long time since I had a sit down video like this and I hope to go ahead and make some more uh, actual videos sometime soon. I know I've been very bad about my, so, uh, my upload schedule as well as my social media, so um, I apologize. But hopefully we can turn that around in 2022, just like I said in 2021. But yes, we're playing some Halo Infinite. I've been sinking so much time to this game. Um, I just, I love this game. It, it's so skill-based and I like it that you actually, there's a skill gap. There's not, you could be really bad or really good. And that's what I really like about the game. You can see my character's all sick. I got the Emil fire helmet, pretty fucking sick. But we're gonna go ahead and start with some um, some free for all. I'm not gonna really pay too much attention to the game because I'm already too fucking good at it, so. Uh, but yes, I wanna go ahead and give you guys uh, an update of where I am. Uh, it's been a long time since I had an uh, actual conversation with a lot of the stuff that I've been doing. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and talk about that here today so we're gonna take it back to about a year ago for those of you guys don't know um i'm a college student um you know i just turned 20 so so pretty fucking young um and i got some some fucking shit uh the past year and a half has been very hectic when it comes to like my living situation as well as my school situation and stuff like that so for those of you guys that don't know i graduated high school in spring of 2020 which was fucking ass because 2020 was an ass year and my graduation was fucking ass so it is whatever i don't give a fuck that's high school but i entered college in 2022 uh 2020 fall and uh, I went to NMSU, NM State University, uh, New Mexico State, for all of you guys that know, shout out Aggies. My, it was a great fucking school. I liked NMSU, it's awesome. Um, and one of the best parts about NMSU is that they had a really good esports program. Um, and for those of you guys that don't know, I live in El Paso, Texas. It's like 45 minutes away from New, uh, Las Cruces, where uh, NMSU is, is. So it was like away from home type college, pretty much. And uh, I really liked it. I, I enjoyed um, the campus. The only thing is, is I went during 2020. The, the pandemic was full in effect. It was completely dog shit. Everything was chalked and it was a pretty bad experience. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I didn't have a roommate, so I was completely alone throughout my entire fall semester. Thankfully, I had my girlfriend there to, you know, fucking give me some sanity. But like at the same time, when it came to like people that were like-minded, um, thankfully I was able to find some people in the esports program over there. They have a really good esports program um, that I'm very lucky to be a part of. And I started competing in Rainbow Six, which is a, a game that I play on PC. A lot of you guys remember me from my old R6 content. Uh, I compete collegiately for that now, so I'm very proud of all the, the strides that I've made to being a better player on that game. But I competed with them for the fall of 2020. Um, the spring of 2021 came around. I was still an MSU student. Uh, I had moved back home, no longer at the college, no longer in the dorms, which was good because I, I got to move back home. It was much better in my opinion. I liked it better. I didn't have to fucking suffer alone pretty much. Um, so back home, all online classes. It is what it is. I made some content. I didn't make that much. We should have made more. Uh, but you guys know the rest from there. I made some content. It was a pretty good time. Um, but unfortunately, it uh, you know, COVID was lighting, uh, getting lighter pretty much throughout the, um, the spring and the summer of 2021. And I really didn't want to move back to Las Cruces just because it's very expensive to live alone if you don't have a job. And uh, I tried searching for a job a lot of fucking times in Cruces and I could not find a job to save my life that was worth it. Um, so I just, you know, it said, fuck it. Uh, I'm very lucky to have my parents to help me pay for college essentially. Uh, but they were like, you know what? If you go to college in New Mexico, we're not gonna pay for dorms or living arrangements. So I was like, I really had to make a decision. Do I wanna like pretty much go into debt, get a fucking student loan for living arrangements at a school that um, is probably gonna be shut down in the next fucking two years, or do I not wanna be? So I just ended up making the decision, hey, I'm gonna live back at home and go to my local university, UTEP. We all love UTEP. 
Uh, it's part of the, the University of Texas program, UT Austin, same, same pretty much fucking school, essentially. Um, but yeah, so I, go, I come back home, I go to my local college, it's not a bad college, but uh, you know, I had that transfer process, not all of my credits transferred, and it was pretty much dog shit experience, I had to retake a whole semester of classes that I already taken, just because they didn't fucking transfer over, so I was pretty miserable this fall semester. And uh, that brings us to the fall semester of 2021, new college, new school, no longer at NMSU. Uh, and I picked up uh, the esports program over here at UTEP. Thankfully, they did have a Rainbow Six team, and I continued playing for Rainbow Six, and I still do to the very same day. Um, upon leaving NMSU, I did uh, to pick up some leadership positions over there, mainly because I wanted to be a player, but I also wanted to be still somewhat connected to the university and their esports program. So uh, I'm one of the managers over there for a couple of their teams. I actually man manage the Halo team. That's why you see me so fucking good at this game. Uh, I'm the coach and the manager for the Halo team. It's still pretty infant uh, state just because Halo esports in general is in an infancy right now. Um, so, you know, pretty much just being the coach for the Halo team. I still do the Call of Duty uh, management as well. I manage the Call of Duty team for all of you guys that don't know, early 2021, uh, when I was still an MSU student, I would actually CODcast the COD team for NMSU. They were actually a really fucking good team. They finished top 32 in the CCL, which is like the biggest collegiate Call of Duty league in the fucking country, um, which is fucking huge. Like it's a, it's a really big honor to be a part of that tournament and like that, uh, you know, competitive, arena essentially and the boys got better and we, i was really proud about how they did uh, being the, their manager essentially and they finished top 32 beating schools like ut and a couple other big schools that were really good the entire semester but i was really proud that we were able to go ahead and do really well as we finish out this first free for all character looks fucking sick at the ending screen just gonna say the snipers it's sick um but yeah 2021 spring just still at msu still here at home casting cod uh, I tried my hand at Valorant. I played Valorant summer. I played it for like three months. I we never won a map, so I'm very bad at Valorant. But it was fun to play as we load into our second free for all. Um, but yeah, I switched to uh, UTEP in the fall of 2021, and then I get um, you know esports opportunity here. Play play Rainbow Six, which is fucking cool. We got into CR6, which is um, the biggest collegiate Rainbow Six um, uh, league that they have. It's pretty pretty prestigious, at least in my ideas of the thing. And so I was really happy that I was able to go ahead and. Um, you know play in a big league and you know get better if you play better competition you're gonna get better in, in general so i like that a lot um other than that we've been you know continue playing i, I um you know pretty much starting right back over with college i would have graduated in 2024 but since i transferred half of my fucking credits didn't transfer so this whole fall semester of 2021 has been dog shit i've taken classes i've already taken like three times in high school in nmsu and now i have to take it again in fucking utah because they didn't fucking transfer so that's been pretty fucking dog shit for me um, I just, you know, school took a big hit. I wasn't motivated to learn at all. And I was just literally super motivated to do esports and do shit for both of the clubs that I'm in. So thankfully the semester's over with. I don't have to worry about that now. We're moving into 2022, happy new year. I'm actually excited to get into school. I'm actually excited to learn new classes, classes I haven't taken at, the least, at least at the collegiate level yet. So very excited for that. Hopefully this Omicron variant COVID shit lightens up. Uh, we don't go back to online. I mean, I would honestly wouldn't mind online. Online was fucking easy. But if I'm paying for it, I don't want it to be online. You know what it is. Um, so it is what it is. Um, at NMSU, I also picked up some more management positions outside of teams. I am their head uh, social media manager. I actually host a TV show-esque uh, YouTube channel uh, over there called the NM State Ace. I'll go ahead and put that down in the description as well. Uh, it's a show that we do somewhat regularly. Me and my boy Leon, he's like a brother to me, uh, host a host like a TV show based around all IM State Esports stuff and all their announcements that we have. So pretty big stuff coming on. I still do that. I don't intend to leave anytime soon. So it's a really high production. I think I, uh, it's really cool. I think you guys should check it out. It'll be down in the description as well. Go subscribe to IM State. Anyway, I also picked up some social media manager positions also at um, UTEP. I actually also not only just play, but I'm also one of the social media managers here at UTEP. Uh, I manage some of their social medias as well. Uh, I haven't really gotten to do too much yet just because we're waiting for the new year to kind of initiate everybody and uh, debrief them on all the, the shit that we have to do and all our, you know, managerial duties. So it's been uh, very fun to learn some new, um, you know, learn and get to know some new people and get to know a new ecosystem system of esports which is fucking awesome uh i know nmsu very well new mexico esports very well and i've gotten a bunch of opportunities to travel within new mexico as well as just meet other people 
in the esports collegiate university scene uh, in general. And a lot of people ask, like, why the fuck are you doing collegiate when you can just make your own esports program? A lot of people don't realize making your own esports program is very fucking expensive. You have to have players, you have to compensate your players, you have to have all these things that a stereotypical, you know, esports program is supposed to have merch sales, fucking travel fees, tournament entries. Like that takes money. That, that's a lot of money. And if you partner or you have like a quote unquote club from a collegiate standpoint, you can pretty much just ask for money. And if you have a good enough reason, they'll give it to you. Um, and, you know. Colleges like to hear, oh, it's going to boost enrollment because COVID fucked up enrollment. So that's pretty much what we've been doing. Um, and yeah, I mean, you, you can pretty much run your own shit. It, it's it's very prideful. Um, it's not like um, like traditional esports programs where like, hey, if you get dropped, you're going to a different team and that, that's it, right? Um, compared to, the, you know, collegiate where you're stuck on this college, essentially. We're not really stuck. You're probably very happy to be on a, in college for four years. I might as well compete and try my hardest to be a good student as well as a good competitor for this said college uh, for the next four years. So it, I, I, think, I think it's better when it comes to like the loyalty of it all. So, um, you know, fucking crucify me if you want to, but I don't give a fuck. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. Uh, I, I am very busy. Uh, on top of that, thankfully, I was able to go ahead and get a job here uh, upon my transfer back to here at, back at home. Um, I work very close to my house, which is very sick, literally five minutes away driving. And it's a pretty good job. For those of you guys who don't know, I work at a medical office office so pretty much like a doctor's office right you, you know if you're sick you go to the doctor's office and they give you medications or whatever the fuck right that's what i do i'm the receptionist so hopefully you guys never find my fucking business phone number and fucking spam call me but it is what it is um so yeah managing work school content esports and like relationships and shit is very very intricate so unfortunately youtube and social media take a hit um, I've been very lucky to travel this year, uh, despite the, you know, the pandemic, I went to Mexico City, uh, to visit family down there, which is fucking cool. Mexico City, I've never been there, and some of the family I've never met, so it was very cool to go ahead and travel, finally, for the first time in, like, two years. Uh, for those of you guys don't know, I usually travel a lot, uh, my parents like to go on business trips to, like, very exotic places, uh, been to Spain, been to Morocco, been to fucking, uh, Hawaii, m n numerous places here in the United States, um, Canada, New York, all this fucking cool places. Um, so that's been fucking cool to get it, finally get back into, have a, like a relaxation time uh, to myself, not worrying about too much esports stuff. And then, you know, finally be able to build my brand, hopefully in 2022. That's going to be my main goal. I was watching my video from 2021, the very first day, and it was a fucking Animal Crossing video showing off my island. And I was like, dude, back then I was so fucking calm. I had nothing to worry about. And now, like, I have like 10 different things to worry about every single day and schedules and time frames and everything. It's fucking crazy. But I've been playing a lot of Halo and it's been honestly keeping me sane. I would play a lot more Call of Duty, but Call of Duty's in a shit spot right now. Every Everybody on Twitter and everybody on social media fucking hates the new Call of Duty, and I don't blame them. It's been pretty ass. Um, uh, I've been playing a lot of Rainbow Six, obviously trying to get better at Rainbow Six for competitive reasons. Um, you know, obviously I don't want to shit the bed with my team, so making sure that I have a good uh, understanding of the competitive edge that you need to have for Rainbow is pretty fun. Um, but I definitely neglect Halo a lot for, or neglect Rainbow a lot for Halo, so. Um, very happy that I have this game to like be my comedic relief when it comes to competitive. Like I really don't take the competitive that serious and the rank system's really fucked so it's not like it really matters all that much anyway. Um, but I like to think that I'm pretty fucking good at Halo, at least in my eyes. Um, so very happy to be playing this game, very happy to bring some content to you guys. I'll probably be bringing like some more Halo content in the future. I don't know about Vanguard content. Um, but we'll have to see. I'm, I'll probably make like a shit talk video as well as a new setup. I'm in a new location. You guys probably haven't seen me back in my old room, but there's been a lot of changes that have been made to it um, since the last time you saw me in a room like this. So I'll definitely be making a setup video 2021, 2022 sometime soon. Uh, there's some other changes that I want to do to it soon, but I don't think there's going to be much... Um, besides that but i appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching the videos make sure to check out the podcast if you haven't already make sure to check out nm state ace for all my nmsu content and utep coming soon thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you guys next one peace